That's the greetings in these parts, and when you come to College Station, Texas, you know that the Aggies are ready to gig them. Kyle Field will be swaying and electric for this one. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the winners of three straight, the TCU Horn Frogs, taking on the 21st-ranked team in the land, the Texas A&M Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. A&M set to kick off their Chris in this game. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Horned Frogs offense will get the first crack at it here. And there's a man who believes he is always open. He carries that swag and that aura of a big-time playmaker, guys. He's got to catch the football. If you're the quarterback coming into this one, you are looking for this guy early, and David, you're looking for him on it. And this offense better find ways to feature him. Find him, like you said, Jesse, early, often, deep, shallow. Get this man the football. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Williams. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. And the Horned Frogs in the hurry up. On third down, he drops the throw. And it falls incomplete, and the offense is lucky to have it. Defender right there, almost had it in his grasp. First one of the day is off. He was called on three times in that victory last week. Makes a move. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. So Texas A&M's offense will get the ball for the first time. First down here for the offense. They go to the ground. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Looking to pass. It's Wegman. Feeling some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, the problem with the play-action game is that it forces the QB to hold on to the ball just a little bit longer to allow some of these plays to develop. And, of course, that gives this defense longer to get after him. Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. Unloads to the wideout. And he can't grab the bullet pass on third down. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. On his way back from the 20. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. He wastes no time and comes out and throwing. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. Takes a handoff. It's Cook. Still running at the 40. He stepped out of bounds after a huge play, but hang on just a second. Defense might get bailed out here by a flag. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. The RPO, it's complete. How about the power there to get it across the 20 and up to the 21-yard line? On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. A strike downfield. Oh, look out. There he goes. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Look at the pass. Pass. Defense. Defense. That was right on the borderline. You want to make that quarterback feel you, but the official thought it was a little too much. The roughing the passer penalty. Off the play fake on first down. 
And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He'll run it to the right, looking for the goal line. And this one will be stopped for no gain. The Horn Frogs want to crank the tempo. Wants to fire it in the end zone on third and goal. Touchdown, TCU! And they strike first. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Hey, guys, got a final score in a big top 25 matchup. Arkansas was far from the friendly confines of Fayetteville, but still managed to scratch out a win. And there was a lot of chatter this week about this group not being ready. Time to check those receipts, if you know what I mean. A top 25 clash and an impressive showing that could be a huge confidence builder for this program. Back to you. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Looking to throw its Wegman. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Ooh, that linebacker sacked that quarterback, and he was on him quicker than a hiccup. Yeah, and you see quarterbacks back there pointing and telling the offensive line who to block, and, well, it didn't work, okay? He was not prepared for that. He comes scot-free, and the quarterback pays the consequences for that one. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. He gets a block. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. To the ground with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. And while the pass is incomplete, the flag is down. I think that was a free play for this offense. Defense was in the neutral zone. That's just a mental error. On defense, you got to watch the ball. I understand the quarterback shouting and he's clapping and there's all this crowd noise, but you just got to hone in, watch the football before you come out of your stance. Nowhere close on that one as he got thrilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On first down, here comes this offense. On the ground, it's Owens. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. And the runner is down, and so is the flag. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. To the air, it's Wegman. They're trying to get to him. Couldn't find anyone open here, and he'll live to fight another play. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to get to him. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. 
Well, that's their third sack of the game, and we knew statistically coming into this game, this is one of the top 25 units in the nation getting after the quarterback. I just love how athletic they are up front, and they are giving this offensive line headaches and nightmares up to this point of the game. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets it away from his own end zone. Slips through the line. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Ball's out. Oh, the offensive first. Absolute disaster by falling on that fumble. He wants to pass it on second down. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Pocket starts to collapse. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. And the Horned Frogs line up to punt it away. And that is an excellent punt as it lands out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Got it in the middle. It's Miller. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find your rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw, and you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here. In the it's first down from their own 23-yard line. The give to the tailback. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. He's right on target. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Faced with a third and short from their own 32 to keep this drive alive. Just going to keep it after the snap. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Fair catch called for and made. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. They'll throw again after the incompletion. Well, on defense. They get enough rush, and it pays off. The sack at the 20. He tried to go play action, but that did not affect the defensive tackle. He was bull rushing his guy, collapsing the pocket. He comes away with the sack. Make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Defense didn't maintain its discipline there, and they get into the neutral zone. It'll cost them five yards. Defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the O. They go to the draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. The Horned Frogs decide to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. On the return, it's Moss. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The offense lining up for a first down play. They think they can impose their will here with the run to the right. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. 
amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive. We'll see if the offense can overcome it. Back to pass. It's Wegman. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. Now second and ten. He's looking to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. The screen, by definition, is slow developing. That was just a little too slow. Yeah, quarterback just held on to it a split second too long. You want to invite the rush to you as a quarterback when you're executing that play, but you've got to be able to get rid of it, and you've got to be able to negotiate the rush and somehow, some way, find a way to get that receiver or running back the ball in his hands, and the QB couldn't get it done. That's the end of the quarter, and TCU has the lead. We put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Caught in the backfield, it's Thomas. He's finally got it out of bounds, and even with that kind of pickup, they are still short of the first down. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. TCU has it back, and the Horned Frogs go on offense. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Maurice, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Snagged in the middle. It's Richardson. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. And the Horned Frogs are in the hurry up. Finds his tight end. And he's tackled, but there's also a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold, 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 up and up and that penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. And now on second down for this offense. To the air. It's Hoover. Swings it out to his running back. Fighting off the defender. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there. Still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. They keep attacking through the air. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. The Horned Frogs will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Line gets set. First down. Looking for a crease. It's Owens. At the 35, he's got room. And chunk plays are the name of the game. And they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Well, there's the offense trying to take advantage of this running back speed. I like the call. Hand off to the left, to the outside. Put him in space and let him go to work. Got it in the middle. It's Thomas. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Quarterback checking the play. They're trying to find some room off right tackle. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. Looking to throw for it. Got the quick pass. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. And the Aggies have their offense in high gear. Going up top on first down. He's got it. Touchdown, Aggie. What a grab and go for the score. Love the play design on offense because you get your playmaker, the guy you want with the ball in his hands. You get him open, easy throw for the quarterback. Receiver does the rest, put six up on the board.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. Smashes it through for the PAT. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. USC went scorched earth in a double-digit win that might have been worse had they not sat the starters in that fourth quarter. Total destruction by the Trojans in a statement win if there ever was one. Caught in the backfield, it's Sanders. Really unexpected outcome in this ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup. A type of loss, guys, that'll get the attention of even a good football team. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And the Horned Frogs racing to the line in the hurry-up. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. The Horned Frogs will bring the punt team onto the field. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. They'll try the run. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. The Aggies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Caught behind the line. It's Owens. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. From the gun, running back on the move. Relying on that running game, and it works for about three yards to the 31. A third and long coming up here. Looking for a man, it's Wegman. A shot toward the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. He'll need to strike this one cleanly from 48 yards out. And this one splits the uprights. And with that, they've taken the lead. <laughs> After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Leaves it with the back. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give to the back. And they make the tackle, but the official has tossed his flag. Oh, 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 oh. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. He's back to throw on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Richardson. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. Yeah, how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. 
And the Horned Frogs will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out. They got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. He'll come out throwing on first down. He let that thing fly quickly, but he couldn't make the connection. Wonder if they'll throw it again after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 49. Right on target this time. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the stance. Back to throw, it's Wegman. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. He's got it, they convert. Tackle is made after the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun to give to the back. Productive four-yard gain there on the ground as he gets it down to the 31. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Allen. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Running back searching for a hole. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Looking to pass on second down. He just tossed that one out of bounds. You avoid the sack. You avoid the turnover. You've got more plays here on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll throw it. He's got it on the move. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. They'll try to cap off this drive with a field goal. Good right down the boulevard. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. TCU has it back in the Horned Frogs go on offense. Looking downfield, it's Hoover. Finds his big tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. On second down, he'll fire. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Going to throw it over the top of the D. He caught it. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Hart! Well, as a defense, you know you're going to see the go route, especially against this guy. He does it to defenses, so it seems, every single week. And so they're not able to get back deep enough. They get run by, he makes the catch, and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage and get some safety help up over the top because this guy's speed is a problem. Lining up to add another. And the extra point gives them the lead of 14-13. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a touchdown pass from 59 yards out. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. Catch in the middle, it's Thomas. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. He's 
looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. The ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete downfield. And he's running in the open. Inside the 10. And he just kept running, and he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Aggie! This offense is so explosive, they can change the scoreboard in a flash. You just saw that on that drive. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Memphis was able to come away with a hard-fought victory in Bluff City. It wasn't one coaches will point to the rest of the way as a perfect 60 minutes of ball but it is a step in the right direction. It's one game, you don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. Coming after it. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Offense set on first down. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Makes the grab, it's Smith. Makes the grab and he's dragged down. The offense calls timeout, it's the second one they've used this half. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, he has to throw for it. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. They'll look to pin him deep. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Runs through a tackle. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in College Station. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the home of the 12th man. All teed up and ready to go here in the second half. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Grabbed over the middle. It's Green. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Well, it's a nice job, too, the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Wegman. 
Finds the tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. The gift to the back. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. The Horned Frogs will hustle to the line. Pulls it and fires to the left. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught near the sticks, it's Richardson. At the 45 on his way. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves them with second and four. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, charged loose by the hit. Balls at the 25, they're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. Pressure coming. It's complete to the right. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And the Horned Frogs are moving quickly down the field. Out of the gun, the inside kick. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Looking for a man, it's Hoover. The quick out. Boy, that was a precision play all the way around. Throw, catch, tackle, bang, bang, bang. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. Quick completion on the out. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll send out the kicker here. He got it. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Quickly to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. This offense has a second down play. Brings up second down. Using the quick game. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Catch in the middle. It's Miller. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give them a first down. And the Aggies come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll give it to the back. And midfield, he's got room. 
They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. Motion from the offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Gets it out fast. Defense needs to regroup as he gets it down to the 26. Texas A&M going quickly. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the middle. Got his man on the right. Tackled after picking up the first down. Texas A&M trying to gig him in the red zone. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Owens. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Going to work on second down in the red zone. Is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Encroachment. So the early contact for the defense, and they'll move it up five yards. Looking for a gap. It's Owens. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. From the gun, wants to pass. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive, and now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. TCU has it back in the Horn Frogs go on offense. From the shotgun, the inside give. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Got eight on first down. Now looking at a second and two. Wide out in motion. From the shotgun now. Here's an inside give. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Got it on the outside, it's Richardson. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. So he took a chance by using a timeout on the challenge, and it comes back to bite him. We'll see if he needs that timeout later. Here's the handoff. <laughs> They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. The Horned Frogs want to move quickly. They'll give it to him again. Just buried it. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. The pull and throw off the RPO. Tackled at the 45 after the five-yard play. It's enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Quickly complete. At the 35, he's open. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Well, I know the tight end did some good things after the catch, but got to give the quarterback credit, too, for the location of the throw. Because he put it out in front of his big man, he was able to make the catch and accelerate, creating some distance there between him and the defense. Using his legs, it's Cook. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Coming to the line of scrimmage at the 30. It would be a long field goal, but they'd love to pick up a few here on third and long. 
on the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And they'll send out the field goal unit. He's going to have to get into this one a little bit from 47 yards away. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Tulane delivered the type of thrashing generally reserved for homecoming games in New Orleans. Thing is, this was a road victory. And a win like this is going to resonate throughout the American. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Complete to start this drive. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Leaves it with the back. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Here comes the offense on second down. He leaves it with his back. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. This Texas A&M offense is wasting no time. Right back to the well. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Makes his connection. And they're able to make the tackle. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Third and short from the 49 is this four down territory. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46 yard line. AM comes back out with another first down. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a false start and they'll move it back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. First down here for the offense. Wants to go up top. Got it in the middle. It's Owens. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. That last completion sets him up on second down. Give to the running back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. Oh, and he missed it. No good. It's still a three-point game after the miss. All right, there's still life in the opponent because this team just had a chance to pad their lead with that field goal try. They knock it off the post. We've still got a good ball game. TCU will send its offense back onto the field. Opening play of the drive from the 39. He's looking to throw it. Snagged in the middle. It's Richardson. He stopped at the 49 after gaining 10. 
And the Horned Frogs moving quickly to the line. Zone coverage means everybody's looking at the quarterback. So now, when I'm a wide receiver, I got to make sure I... He lobs one high down the left side. Got it! Touchdown, TCU! They've got the lead here in the fourth. TCU. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You could tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Pulls and fires complete. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. Fast motion from the offense. Now the play fake. Pulls it in. It's Allen. And he tried to string out that run, but there was nowhere to turn it upfield, and he's forced out of bounds for a loss. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. He has been terrorizing quarterbacks all year long. That now his 10th sack of the season. He's got speed. He's got power. He's going to play on Sundays, and he is not cooperating with this offense's game plan. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. TCU has it back, and the Horn Frogs go on offense. From the gun, give on the inside. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Carrying the ball with an edge and hammering his way to the 40. These fans stepping up to help this defense on third down. To the ground to try to pick up the first. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains. It's at the 37. Looking for a productive play on first down. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. Got his man in the middle. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. You know, it's interesting. At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back to back. Tackle is made after a pickup of six down to the 19-yard line. The play action fake. It looked like a catch, but they'll say he was out of bounds. Just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw, and it cost his team to throw. It's Hoover. He makes a grab. They will score. Touchdown, Horn Frog. They give themselves a little more cushion as they try to reel off their fourth straight win. This guy is officially a problem. His second receiving touchdown of the game. Nice job by the offense. Dude, if I've got a matchup I like, continue to pick at it until they stop. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the run 
from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Grabbed behind the line, it's Smith. And everything's going to have to be downfield. That's a nice start to this drive, but they're going to need to score, get the ball back quickly, and score again. On second down, looking to throw. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Boy, could they use a conversion on third and short from their own 24. And that's incomplete, a defender all over him, knocked the ball to the ground, fourth down coming up. They're throwing for it on fourth down. Fires downfield, makes a connection. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. Hand off to the lone back. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Wants to throw. It's Wegman. Fires to the tight end. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him too. Third and short from the 49 is this four down territory. On the ground going for the first down with the give to the tight end. He'll be stopped short. Picks up one, but they're facing fourth and one. They'll try it on the ground. He is stopped short and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. Leaves it with the running back. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. The Horned Frogs come to the line in the hurry up. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. It's complete. Just carving up this defense and getting it down to the 24. And the Horned Frogs have it with a first and 10. He just keeps piling up numbers with completion after completion in this standout performance. And I think some people... Here comes the rush, and they've got him wrapped up at the 28. And come on now, O-line. You've got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Looking for the score. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And they decide to trot out the kicker. The field goal is no good. After the miss, still an 11-point game, guys. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense making clutch stand. I think for this offense, they can stay aggressive knowing that their defense is going to bail them out time and time again. Yeah, and especially when you go for those fourth down situations, you do that a lot of times because you know your defense can make stands, make stops. They did on that last possession for you. To the air, it's Wegman. Fire into the right, complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. He wants to throw. That pass is incomplete. Second down coming up. Brings up second down. 
He'll just keep slinging it. Fires to the middle. It's caught. Slammed to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. The Aggies headed quickly to the line. I'll tell you, you cannot count this team out because of who's playing quarterback. When this guy's in the game, it's never over. Yeah, they're trailing here in the fourth quarter, but this dude can put up points quickly. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Wants to throw on first down. Time to take a shot. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. Misfired on first down. Back to the air on second. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. The offense somehow fell on it, and they'll retain possession. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to... Officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. On fourth down, looking to pass. Stands in and takes the hit. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. First down for this offense. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Power football with the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half. They'll go right back to him. And the defense had its hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. The Horned Frogs will call on their punt team. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Comes out throwing on first down. Gets rid of it. That's caught. It's Thomas. Getting behind those pads and behind a stiff arm to get it out to the 27. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to get it through the air. Another incompletion on third down. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. Throws to the wideout. Makes a grab enough for the first. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. And here comes the offense on second down. It leads to second down. Scanning the field, it's Wegman. The throw, back open in the middle. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. They're bringing heat. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. On fourth down, going to the air. It's incomplete, and they desperately needed to keep that drive going, and they couldn't make the connection. And they'll take a knee and watch this clock keep on winding, winding its way toward a victory. Well, after back-to-back -back losses, this team is really teetering on the edge of disaster. They got to try to hold on to the positives, as hard as that is to do right now, having lost a couple back-to-back, -back, because this team has good players, and they've got good schemes on both sides of the ball, just things have not gone their way. They just need to make a few more plays to turn this thing on. And then they can do it, and they will do it. Listen, you, you got to get the players right. You got to get those guys in there believing. Uh, this is part of what happens. You got to take a few lumps sometimes, take those losses. But this team's going to figure it out. You can tell they got the right stuff. 
So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports Company.